Okay. Well, like, why is he back from the dead? <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty, a pretty cool thing that they do that over there, I will one. say. So <laughs> make sure you join us Facebook Live this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. And today we're looking at this great going into the weekend with great yeah, weather, right? Yeah, it's going to end. We're going to end the week on a very high note, and we're talking temperatures kicking off yeah. the weekend. Good. And good spirits this weekend, but that may not be the story for the entire 4th of July holiday weekend. But I'll march through that in moments. Here's your hour by hour breakdown starting this morning. Temperatures are in the upper 60s. Mid 70s by 8 o'clock. Plenty of sunshine through your 10 o'clock hour with 84 late this morning. Noontime temps already at 90. We could see a few fair weather clouds drifting by the afternoon sky. Twinkling lights over the Magic City, matching the twinkling stars in the night sky above. Temperatures this morning sitting at 66 degrees. With those dew points in the upper 50s, it is going to feel much more pleasant outside. It's going to uh, even feel refreshing, which is not a word I generally use in July. That's right, today is the first day of July. I even had to check the calendar. Temperatures right now sitting anywhere between the low to mid 60s. Our only outlier community, Alex City, 73. And that's because there's a bit of a bubble of heat that's stretching up from the Gulf of Mexico. And this is the difference that some of these atmospheric uh, influences from the Gulf can have. Look at the temperature difference from Talladega to Alexander City. Nearly 10 degree difference in temperatures there, and that's all because of this Gulf moisture moving in. But drier air from the northwest kind of reinforcing some of these cooler temperatures. 62 in Jasper, 61 in Gadsden, as well as Pell City. It's a dry start for us across central Alabama this morning, but there is an air quality alert for Jefferson and Shelby counties this morning. So just be mindful of that, maybe limit some of that time outside, especially with that air quality alert. We're looking at some rain along the Gulf Coast and this rain is going to move into the panhandle of Florida, slowly creeping its way into the wire grass in southeast Alabama. That being said, this is exactly that corridor of moisture we were seeing yesterday and that's pretty much where I'll put rain chances today if we even have an opportunity for wet weather. It's going to be in the fringe of our viewing area. Looking at your storm track future cast, it's going to stay pretty empty. We're looking at temperatures again about mid to upper 80s by 10 o'clock, but a sky full of sunshine today. We will see plenty of blue sky carry us through the afternoon. Highs today heating though into the mid 90s. It's going to be a bit warmer this afternoon, but still with those lower humidities, it's still not going to be quite oppressive outside, but still 94 dry heat is still 94. So it's still going to be a hot one out there. And then as we roll through uh, later this evening, there could be just a couple of passing highs high clouds in the sky and it stays relatively um, quiet overnight tonight and to kick off your Saturday morning as well. Temperatures tomorrow at 9 a.m. should be in the 80s and we're back in the mid 90s for your Saturday afternoon. Hardly a chance of rain too as we move into the weekend. But let's kind of advance to Sunday. A small chance of rain Sunday afternoon. I'm still calling for isolated showers and storms Monday and Tuesday. It doesn't look like coverage is going to wash out plans, but definitely something just to keep an eye to the sky. We could have some lightning, thunder, and intense pockets of rain. So just something to be mindful of early part of next week. And that is a look at your storm track seven day forecast. Art.